Hi everyone, this video is a tutorial on how to debug an Erling um, inside of um, IntelliJ. If you don't already, um, type in Erling into Google and then you should get a, the first one you should get is Erling.org, in which case you would go there in order to download the, um, the language. You can use other, um, it, other things other than IntelliJ, but I predominantly use it because I also have other classes that require Java and other languages such as that. And I like, I'd rather just have like IntelliJ as opposed to like a bunch of different little ones. So if you click on Erlang programming language, the very first one, and then download Erlang slash OTP, the little green button, well, it's not little, but the green button, I'm using a Windows so I'm going to click the Windows 64 bit. And then for IntelliJ, um, once you Google IntelliJ into the um, website or into Google, you should get the download IntelliJ IDEA. And I usually use the community because it's free and I'm a student. And so once you get to that and then you upload the IntelliJ, you should get a screen like this. It'll be um, blank like this. Actually, no, you should get the, um, if you're still stuck on the um, what to click on, you would go to new project at the very bottom of like different languages. You would go to the very bottom and then click new project and then click on, just make a dummy file so that way you can, or a dummy project so that way you can get into this screen right here. And so once you get into this screen, you would go, you would hold down on control, alt, and then you would press the S button. And from there, what you would do is you would get this screen right here, which is the setting screen. And then you would go to plugin. And once you go into your plugins, you would go into the search bar and then type in Erling and it should come up relatively quickly like that and then because i already have it installed there's no button there but usually there's a button there it's either orange or green and you would click to install it and um once you get to that point what happens is, is that it asks you to restart your intellij and then obviously you would do that it might take a couple of minutes to do so but once you have that since i already have it i'm just gonna press okay um once you have that you would end up going to you would end up going into new then fi or file then new and then project and then you would go into Erling the language then press next and since I already have this um, project SDK there I don't have to do this again but I'm just going to show you so you got to configure then program files and then go highlight the Earl 10.2 um, make sure you don't highlight anything like in it, like such as these little folders here. And then I will press OK. And then since, um, oh, well, another one popped up for me because I did it again. But um, I'm just going to click on the first one and then press Next. And then this is where you name your project name. I'm going to name it Test 1. Oh, but I already have test one, so <laughs> I'll end up making it test two, and then you would press finish. Now, from here, I can actually make it to new window. Since I already have another project already open, I'm just going to press new window, and then it'll get rid of that first project. So once you're here, what you want to do is you want to go to the left-hand side and then see how it says your project name, which in my case is test two. You're going to click the little arrow to the right or to the left of that. And then you um, right click SRC. From the SRC, um, you can click new. And then um, Erling file since it's since we're writing in Erling. And here's where you can name the Erling file. I'm just going to call it main as what most people um, name their first file, name the first file or the main file. And um, I'm just going to jump a little bit 
a little bit here and I already have the program um, Hello World, our old classic favorite one. And if you don't already have the configuration set up here, then you would click um, on it and then it would come up with this run slash debug configurations. And you want to press the plus button. Um, you're not going to really have anything on the other side, on that side, but you go to plus, then Erling applications. And then it should not have anything in the module function. And, um, but this, the module itself is just the project name and it's a drop down menu, so you should be able to click it. And once you do, if you forget what the module and the function names are, you can easily just look like bring this down a little bit. You can see right there the name of your module. And then obviously your function is what you're going to be wanting to run. So that's for this case, it's start. So I would press OK. Um, you can also press apply and then OK, whichever one floats your boat. But um, then you would click here, the green debugger button. And then at the bottom, you can see um, it's running. And then it should, the terminal should pop up a little bit. And there it goes, where that's your location of your project. And underneath it, it should say, hello world. Um, and then that should be it. Um, let me know if in the comments if you want me to um, do a video on step-by-step -step the installation, the downloading and the installation, just in case something's not working correctly for you. I'll also post in the um, description some links that helped me um, understand everything, and then also some basic Erling programming writing. And that's it. Have a good day.